Hi there everybody, I'm Fred Thomas and you are watching All Things Bike. Brought to you by Zentis Wheels, AD Bikes and Frame and Wheel. And today we are speaking with Peter Wool and Karen Jenkins of Port City Bikes. Karen. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, Fred. Peter, good to see you both. Thanks and for having us. Thanks for coming down. Um, it's a great treat to have you here and, um, and to talk about Port City Bikes. So tell us about Port City Bikes um, and where you're located and, and what do you do? Um, well, our boast is that we're Portland's newest and smallest bike shop. <laughs> yeah, right on. <laughs> Someone's no called, it, uh, called us on it yet. But yeah. we're uh, Paris Street, which is yeah. sort of near the main post office, between the post <clears throat> office and the bowling alley. And we're our focus is practical bicycles. Yeah. So a lot of commuters yeah. and people just want to get around on their bikes. Yeah, practical bikes. I've, I've, I think you've just coined a term there. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, the, you know, time trial bikes are not practical unless you're in a time trial, and mountain bikes are not practical unless you're in a mountain bike course or something. But what is a practical bike for commuting? Um, you know, elaborate a bit. Um, something that you can hop on in street clothes mm -hmm. and reasonably no low maintenance. Wow. And, uh, Maybe yeah. rack and fenders. Rack and fenders. Yeah, oh, fenders yeah, yeah. are, fenders are wonderful <clears throat> things. Right, those, um, so really for getting around a, getting around the city. Um, right. So it is, um, I mean, are, are most of your customers uh, looking for... Um, new bikes that that are going to get them, you know, around the old port, or are they bringing in old bikes, or are they are they buying bikes from you? What what? How does it work? Um, a lot of people want used bikes. Okay. Um, they'll bring in their old bikes. Uh -huh. um, a lot of times, somebody has what was a nice bike with say drop bars on it and yeah. then they're 40 and they don't want to bend over anymore <laughs> so well yeah. uh, and the technology we'll changed set them up yeah. yeah set them up right put some fenders on it yeah. and uh, maybe a rack and make it into right. a commuter right. um, 10 speed older 10 speeds can kind of serve the purpose of a hybrid right right well, which is a hybrid looks sort of like a mountain bike with a little bigger but narrower wheels right 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 so if if i came in i had my 1975 um, steel road bike um, and the wheels were you know out of true and the tires were rotted out and the seat was really ancient and, and no cables or anything and i said look pete karen i just need this to get to the old port so i can you know get to work and Get back home. Um, how would you? You know, what would you? What would you do to it? I mean, in um, well, if the wheels were shot and it wasn't much of a bike, I might say throw it in the river. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's got. It has yeah. emotional value to yeah. it. Yeah. Well, that's, 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 that's something we've done. We've had right. people with a bike that yeah. needed wheels, yeah. and would they would never be able to sell the bike for what they put into it. Right. And if they're okay with that, that's fine. Right. So or like that woman who had the uh, Schwinn, she had this Schwinn since she was a teenager and she's wow. like yeah. in her 50s. But it fits her. And right. she was looking, she thought she wanted another bike and we finally just got aluminum wheels for it, a lighter seat post, a lighter seat. Wow. Um, a few other things, and she rode Bike Maine with it. And she and her husband said all they had to do was add air to their tires. Wow. People with fancier bikes were fooling with stuff, and yeah, they were yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> "Yeah, no, yeah." So, so that is a, that is a practical bike, I and mean, it sounds like yeah. People I have... mean, she kind of came to us looking yeah. for a new bike, and we we're like, "Well, we don't have anything that fits you. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we can do. You, you're not going to get rid of this bike. Might as mm -hmm. well make it." You know, yeah. re, 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 restore it. Yeah. Right? Well, so is I mean, you're you're a bike shop, and like many bike shops, you're providing the service and fixing stuff. But you're different in the sense that you're not selling um, um, new bikes. I think we sell or, one kind of new bike. One we kind. Sell, so they're sort of city bikes or Dutch bikes. Right. Right. But, um, but there's a there's a step through and a non step through version. Um, I see. So you you carry one new brand, but all the yeah. rest of the bikes are all. Entirely different. Yeah, is that right? So, I mean, describe the the inventory generally. I mean, you you are they all sorts of bikes, or or what would I find there if I walked in? Um, not what much right the, now. Yeah, but what the last few we've sold, we turned a three speed into a single speed, and uh -huh. um, yeah, that was kind of it was an old 
old English bike and the wheels were shot and it was winter. Right. So I put a modern crank and put a set of coaster brake wheels on it and wow. somebody eventually came in and uh, as he rode it, he made a kind of a funny face as if it was geared a little too high. <laughs> yeah. And then he came back around and he said, I gotta have it. <laughs> oh, wow, so they, they worked out. <laughs> right, yeah. but um, the but other was... What we, nice, yeah, uh, okay. But what we could sell every day if we had the right size is a mountain bike with smooth tires. Yeah, you or know, a hybrid. Yeah, yeah. A, you know, basic, basic bike with, I don't know, right. seven speeds in the back. Two or right. three in the front, smooth tires, riser bars. Right, so a really practical bike that that it, if it, that's going to survive the winter, and then um, if it gets stolen, it's maybe emotionally upsetting. But but uh, it's not going to be a tremendous. Yeah, we convince people mm -hmm. to buy decent locks. Yeah, so, <laughs> so you sell locks. So do you, I mean, we if I went all in the there, accessories. Yeah. Right, so that's yeah. you, so I could buy tires and tubes and. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, we li I mean, certain things we limit, like helmets. We sell yeah. one kind of helmet. We smell, sell the, uh, right. what do you call them, multi-impact. They sort of look like skateboarder helmets. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we just have too small a space to have too, so we have a lot of versions of those, you know, mm -hmm. that fit a little differently, right. but that's the style. So. Keeping it simple and practical. Yeah, kind of have to. Yeah. Now, well, now, are you both working on bikes or? or yeah, um, I mean, he usually does the finishing touches and the more complex stuff, but I'll mm -hmm. start a lot of tune-ups and then hand them off or, right. you know, well, or do, you know, a good yeah, amount of Karen's, because she's quite a bike fitter. Oh, yeah? Right. Um, yeah, she does a good job with that. She'll get them started and uh, <clears throat> doesn't true wheels yet. Oh, I know. Well, that's but, a, that's you a, know, a cables and it's brake pads but and like with the, bars. Yeah, and, or with the yeah. helmets, I kind of realized that the different ones fit differently. So. Right. Even though they say they're the same size, I get people to try a few different ones, and I don't show them a mirror. Peter said I sell a lot more helmets because I don't. I don't, don't have a mirror. I, people ask for it, and I, I'll get it for them. But I, but I go for fit, not. There you go, not for luck. Yeah. Well, what what are the what are the the challenges um, that, that you that you deal with um, sort of on a day to day or weekly basis? Um, Getting uh -huh. through the winter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, yeah, we all face that. But, but do you have an online presence? or um, do you, A do little you, bit. Uh, we, uh, Facebook, we post, like, we'll post customers' bikes and, oh, yeah. or visitors, you know, people who are touring that stop by. Mm -hmm. yeah. We like to do that. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I have seen uh, on Facebook you have a, a great um, sort of series of, of, of images of, of these unique bikes and they're yeah, set up like, against the bricks. And, right. And they're, they're, yeah, they yeah we have nice. that nice brick wall. And like yeah. recently we had a custom built bike that a guy bought from mm -hmm. the guy who had it built for him. And that was a pretty um, Austin Austin Macher. Yeah, very obscure. Uh, yeah, very rare, but it I'm was sure. a beautiful bike. It was yeah. probably a '70s vintage yeah. with all high-end campy stuff yeah, on it. Yeah. And he, it he had, had sew-up tires, so he bought a set of wheels. Right. Um, kept his old drivetrain actually. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and um, yeah, it's it's so that a lot of people like that. That's a, a yeah. Bike. Well, keep keep those images going. I mean, because the the bikes that are coming through um, are are in, you know, very rare and. and Unique, um, but isn't it hard to work on some of the older bikes? I mean, because the technology has advanced so much, and or uh, you know the tools have changed. But how do you deal with that? Um, the real, the trickiest <clears throat> thing is getting frozen things loose without breaking them. <laughs> yeah, right, because <laughs> so you can't buy another another brake. And when I had other mechanics working for me, I was <laughs> like, if you're not sure, <laughs> just let me do it. Wow. And because, yeah, working on cars, heat it up cherry red, bang it with a hammer. I mean, not that I don't use hammers on bikes, but. Or heat guns. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, but that's, that's the key, is not, not stripping bolts and right, right. things like that. It's, uh, yeah. But, um, and some things, I mean, there's certain wheels, it's like, no, I'm not going to break spokes to true this. Either, you know, if I think it's safe, fine. Otherwise, it's. You know, sorry, you need a new wheel. New set of wheels, but yeah. but, but customers are are I think receptive to that when when they well, understand yeah. That, yeah. that that their bike has been in the garage for twenty years and and the wheels that you can get now are are more comfortable and probably more durable and, and well, and if they're not going to stay between the brakes, you know, right? You know, yeah. this this yeah, wheel is never going to 
<laughs> but do you, yeah. would you put on new brakes too? I mean, can can you yeah. sort of upgrade, um, change a, a steel bike's braking system from uh, caliper to, uh, well, probably not, but... Not usually. Yeah, yeah. generally stick with... You with stick with what, what they are, right? Because you got different pull on the levers too. Right, if right. you go from Canty, they do have the mini V brakes now. Yeah, the uh, V brakes are a, are a nice innovation. Mm -hmm. um, probably my favorite in, innovation. Well, the other is a cassette hub is oh, a yeah. wonderful thing yeah. because the old free wheels, the bearings were in so far you bend the axles, oh, so yeah. it wasn't such an issue with a five speed. But so nowadays, eight, eight yeah. speed is a is a sweet spot because right. that's where you get cassettes. Um, there are seven speed cassettes, but they're not making them anymore. They, you know, you can the free hubs. They're not. Yeah. But so that brings the bearings out. The axles don't bend. Right. And that's a wonderful innovation. Um, Makes your job easier, I think. Right. Yeah. And everybody. That and um and an Allen bolt on the seat. On this, for the seat yeah. voltage. <laughs> yeah, that is <laughs> That's revolutionary, funny. right? But otherwise, <laughs> they've been bikes, they kind of figured it out a long yeah. time ago, and everything right. else has been kind of incremental. incremental. And certainly, if you're, exactly. if you're competitive, then there's, there's reason. Right. But as far as getting, you know, a five mile canoe, three mile commute, it's yeah, yeah. not a. Uh, I guess the biggest challenge can be finding a seat post that fits. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, 27 People millimeter, come in right? and say, a... say, I have a bike. That I need a the seat in the seat post. You're like, well, we need to see the bike because yeah. we stock, not a standard. We stock new seat posts between 25.4 and 27.2 in 0.2 millimeter increments. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> and but recently in our, in our drawer of used things, we found one for some old Peugeot that... It's priceless. It can't I'm be. Sure. Yeah, well, I'm sure. or, our distributors don't have a 24 millimeter seat post. Was it a 25 o or a 24 o? Yeah. yeah, it was. It was yeah. something yeah. you Very, can't really you get. Never yeah. see another. So yeah. he might not have realized what yeah. we found for him. <laughs> yeah, the most valuable <laughs> item. <laughs> in the, in the so whole that's something bike. people like about our places. Um, we yeah. have a lot of used parts, so someone who's putting together a bike, right, you know. Right, right, right. That's interesting. And a lot of people do that. Yeah. 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 Well, or, they, or they don't want to spend the, you know, they want to, you know. Spend. Or they want to see it before they buy yeah. it, because a lot yeah. of that stuff can be found on, on eBay right. and at, at, you know, Craigslist, but it's important to see it visually. But uh, tell us more about your customers. I mean, we know they're commuters. Um, you know, um, what else are they, are they asking for? What, you describe the relationships that you have with your, your customers. Um, right now it's tune-ups. Mm -hmm. um, one of the more rewarding <clears throat> things is when mom brings her old bike in mm -hmm. and we fix it up for daughter to take to college. Oh my gosh. And that's, that's, uh, <laughs> that's a lot of fun. And we've had wow. two cases where dad brought a bike in, had mm -hmm. me just totally disassemble it. Mm -hmm. He got the frame painted and then has... Wow me put it back together yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah there was one young girl very kind of you know typical Hip. 13 kind of very oh. and then <laughs> you know just very blah and then when she saw the bike done it was like it's beautiful oh, it wonderful. was so adorable yeah i mean but, and, uh, yeah i mean you're really you're changing um, you're changing their their relationship with their bike or or you're you're re connecting them with their bikes i mean it sounds very compelling i mean or sometimes people just don't realize how bad their bike has gotten and you get a new yeah. chain and a new uh you know new drivetrain yeah and you're like oh wow yeah, it makes a difference yeah. <laughs> oh the brakes work and, oh. a new seat you know, and, new brake pads on an old bike you yeah know? Or, or wider tires too i mean yeah. it, mm -hmm. it, it or sounds, smooth tires they have a mountain yeah. bike that they're using around town right and they're sick of the, yeah, the, the buzzing yeah, yeah so put you know skinnier smoother tires on well, i mean well, it's it's um it's fascinating stuff and really it's it's really compelling to know that you can take you know, you know your old bike that that has been neglected and or or uh, and just give it another another um, lease another another sort of another life another um, chance to sort of get you around um, yeah we also see a lot of bikes like post bikes well after the bikes oh, yeah, a lot bet. of people come to us <laughs> yeah they need tweaking or they want fenders and a rack and yeah. That's, you know, yeah, new seat. It's, and it's not that easy to do. I mean, I, I certainly, you know, I, I would I would struggle a bit. I think when, um, you know, putting maybe I could do fenders, but it's it's a little bit trickier than than yeah, uh, than it sounds. Yeah. Um, so having an expert around who can do that is, 
important. Um, are, are you are, are you plugged into the, um, the the main community or any of the associations, um, bicycle associations? Bicycle Coalition. We're members, and we we always volunteer at the swap. Peter's always one of the pre oh yeah pre right. test drive mechanics, and I usually volunteer the day before. Central, yeah. Because I have to get to the shop by noon that day and wait for. People, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I send them over. <laughs> right, right. So, and yeah. we help people the night before and the day of. We're, we're usually wandering around. I'm, you know, helping people find bikes that fit them. Or I see. Yeah, yeah. that's right. I mean, that was a very that was a new um, feature of the swap this year. I think with people, you know, people trying to help people get connected to the right yeah, bikes. Yeah, I think yeah. there's yeah. usually people. It's usually kind of a well, as the you know, pre-ride casual. mechanic too. You, you can gotta do all that. Yeah. But yeah, there's. We have just see so many people on bikes that fit is the key thing. Yeah, right. And there have been people in the shop, oh, I loved it. I'm like, you know, it's fun right now. You're going to be unhappy two weeks from now. Right, just, right. It's just not right. It's too big. Too small. Then, or like someone was, a, I was helping a woman like look for, she wanted a starter mountain bike. Mm -hmm. But she wanted to spend like 200 bucks. And I'm like, don't look at ones with suspension. If you're yeah. looking for a $200 <laughs> yeah. mountain bike. Don't, you know, yeah, yeah, make it a simple one. It, make it a, you know, keep it go simple. for a light one. That Used was my, you know. bikes are like old pickup trucks. They're yeah. either really expensive or they're yeah. to death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. But if they, if they work, they, they become uh, old friends and, and they, they do, the, do the job. Well, uh, do you have any other future plans? I mean, you're, you're, right now you're, um, you're in Paris Street. Um, um, what's what's um, any any exciting plans or goals or something you're thinking about? Well, we're kind of happy there. Yeah, <laughs> no, well, it's been, that's great. Been it's quite uh, busy this year. Yeah, just mm -hmm. you know, keep keep growing a little bit, but being yeah. able to deliver. Yeah, yeah. don't want to get to the point. And mm -hmm. I don't know. It's kind of nice just having the two of us. I've had mechanics in the past. Right. And now, Karen takes care of a lot of the admin. <clears throat> I don't have to oh, do the wow. quarterlies and the. Yeah, I you know early on I got to know the very nice lady up, up in, in the you know in Augusta oh, who yeah. <laughs> helped me every quarter figure out yeah. what I had to well, do. Well, that's great. Well, yeah, I but, mean, it's... Uh, now it's you know Karen's got that all down, and mm -hmm. um, ordering stuff is a is a bit of a chore, which I'm relieved of. Oh, so sure I can is. just come in, check the mail. Well, and I, or you can look at the more, yeah. you know, like wheels or, you know, the more esoteric stuff. But I don't yeah, have to yeah. worry about the tubes and Yeah, I mean, that's like that, that. it's true. It's so. a, it takes a lot of time and, and um, uh, you know, getting, getting your, or knowing your way through the, the distributors and, and the shipping and all that. Um, and well, you, you, you make a great team, I think, and, and <laughs> you're, you, you fill the... Uh, an important niche in in um, in, in Portland, I think. Um, uh, just one last question: Has commuting in Portland become more popular since you started bicycle commuting? I, mean. I think so. There yeah. was a year early on where the gas got expensive, and it yeah. really took a little bump. Right. So, and gas is still so cheap now. But people, I mean, one thing is parking. <laughs> Yeah. That's so, right. and that's what I tell people: if you're driving a car and you see a bicycle, that's a free parking space. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think there are also a lot of the young people yeah. don't drive or don't want to drive right. too. There's, I think there are a lot of college kids, a lot of young post-college kids that want to get it, or you know, or the green thing. You know, they right, right. they like the idea of getting around without. Right. You know, polluting. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, they're they're they're. You know, it's it's can be very convenient. Yeah, to be spending able to get calories <laughs> rather than buying yeah. gas. Yeah, I mean, and if your life is just sort of revolves around a, you know the center, um, you know, try a bike. Yeah, we've been pretty. I mean, we've been car free for oh, five yeah. or six years. Yeah. So you, do you commute? Uh, you commute? You, uh, yeah, I or? walked a lot in January, but yeah. it was yeah. uh, it was a but. And we do studded snow tires in the winter. Wow, you're but brave. <laughs> yeah, the car just needed a lot of work. Yeah. And, uh, just to get a sticker would have cost a lot of money, and yeah. I knew what was in the future. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so we, we weren't planning on going carless, but then 
oh, it's winter. We'll worry about it in the spring. And then by yeah. the springtime, we're like, eh, it's kind of nice. We you got know, the hang rent, of this. Yeah, rent a car well, for the our, holidays yeah. and go visit the family. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Our commute's it's only two, a little over two miles, so, so that's walk, not yeah. a big deal to walk. Yeah, you know, you've, you've, you've not, you, you haven't cut the cord, right, and just, which is what happens when you have only uh, a cell phone and yeah. no fixed line. You've... Yeah. you've You've cut the uh, what the, <laughs> the registration yeah. process. Um, that's yeah, that's fascinating. Well, um, I guess everyone in Portland will now know that if they <laughs> want to commute, they can they can um, come to you and ask for advice on how to do it, and also um, they can come to you for a practical bike. That's great stuff. Well, thanks for coming down and telling us about all yeah, that. You're welcome. All right. Thanks it's for having been, us. Right? Well, thanks. Absolutely. No, it's it's great, and I will come down to the store. Soon. It's been okay. too long. Okay. Great. <laughs> there you go, everybody. That was Peter Wool and Karen Jenkins of Port City Bikes. They are on Paris Street in Portland, um, and they are on Facebook as well. You can find out more about their shop um, at Facebook and online. That's all we've got time for. Thanks so much for watching, and we will talk to you again soon. All Things Bike with Fred Thomas is brought to you by Zentis, performance carbon wheels handmade in Austria for road and off-road riding. Zentis, next generation wheels. And Frame and Wheel eBay Bike Selling Services. Time, space, cash, pick three. And AD Bikes, the modern face of Austro-Daimler Cycling and the bike company of the future.